Shall we? Shall we start? Okay, then Dennis, will you start recording? I already did. Great, great. Okay, so welcome to the after siesta part of our mini conference. Uh, our next speaker is Gabriela Guzman, who is currently in Mexico, but she will uh, start her job uh, in autumn in the Institute of Mathematics of the Polish Academy of Sciences. And uh, she will talk about, that's a good question about what? Rational homotopy theory in A1 algebraic topology. Welcome, Gabriela. Yeah, then, so thanks for the invitation and uh, for the opportunity to talk about the problems that I'm interested about. And uh, so then, um, yeah, let's just start. So I want to talk about rational and uh, also somehow p local um, homotopy theory. in A1 algebraic topology. So I want to start with some uh, classical motivation. And uh, one of the important problems in algebraic topology is try to classify spaces up to equivalence by algebraic invariance. And what I mean with algebraic invariance, it's formally, the problem is um, under which conditions um, there exists an homotopy category of algebraic nature shows that, um, and also, um, a fully faithful functor from the homotopy category of spaces to the homotopy category of of this of this category of algebraic nature, and shows that this functor is a fully faithful functor. So classically, this question has been answered positively by uh, first, uh, Quillen, in his work about rational homotopy theory. And um, what he constructs is that if we take the homotopy category of simply connected spaces, and then we localize with respect to rational equivalence, so there is a fully faithful functor to an homotopy category of differential graded Lie algebra over Q under some conditions over this, over the, over this category. And also um, uh, he can construct a, a fully faithful functor to a homotopy category of differential graded commutative co-algebras over Q. And also we need to, to restrict uh, and put some conditions over these two categories. Um, also, there is the work of uh, Sullivan, which is quite important in um, rational homotopy theory. And uh, also, he, if we take the homotopy category of simply connected spaces, or also we can't um, take the category of nilpotent spaces, uh, and we take the um, rationalization rational uh, equivalences in, in this category, then he constructs an explicit full, uh, fully faithful functor to the um, opposite category of commutative differential graded algebra of Q. And this functor is actually very explicitly and explicit and given by the polynomial the gram algebras associated to each, to each space. Um, so, this is well, quite useful in rational homotopy theory and quite good for make computations. Um, so that was actually one of my main goals when I started with this project to try to uh, find something similar in, in, the, in, the, in the Sullivan direction. But uh, this, um, this uh, theorem has a restriction that he is asking for finite uh, dimension 
homology groups. as uh, q vector spaces. So this is a quite uh, strong condition. So I was looking for something or for trying to find another model who were more useful for the category of motives and for more interested for the for motivic spaces. So in this direction, um, there is this board of uh, goals. And uh, he constructs a nice model. If we take um, K uh, an algebraic closed field, and we take the localization with respect to homology with a coefficients in K of the homotopy category of the spaces, then we can construct a fully faithful pointer to the category of simplicial commutative co-algebras over K. And uh, so this is um, and this is a very simple construction because if we just associate the chain com the, the chain complex or the the, uh, uh, the yeah the chain complex and we induce a structure of coalgebra by the diagonal map. So this this gives us the fully faithful functor that we would like to construct. So uh, the goal of this talk. Is um, I'm going to discuss a uh, Gauss model. And um, I'm going to explain why this can be adapted in uh, A1 homotopy. theory, and in particular, when we are considering the A1 um, moral homology with coefficients in K. And also, I'm going to discuss uh, some hope to get a similar result when we are considering the Suslin homology with coefficients in K. <clears throat> so, most of these are very basic ideas, and uh, so let's let's start. Um, so we have uh, we have the um, now we are in an A one um, algebra topology, and we consider F um, as usual um, perfect field. And we take the category of motivic spaces. In this case, I, I know that many of you are very fancy and usually you already work with uh, infinity categories, but in this case, I'm going to choose a model and then I'm going to take the category of simplicial pre-shifts um, on smooth schemes over F with the injective model structure. And as usual, we define the motivic spaces as the Nisnevich localization of this. Uh, model structure and followed by the A1 localization. So now, um, yeah, so now we have um, that we can define the um, A1 homology and uh, we know that we can construct the effective category the effective um, a one derived category given by Morel or studied quite a lot by Morel and uh, as the, so we take the derived category of pre shifts in abelian groups. And then we take, as usual, the Nisnevich localization and the A1 localization. And uh, so we define the complex associated to a shift of simplicial sets as the A1 localization in this um, derived category. Um, 
this abelian, or as it's written in Morel, this, this abelian localization. And then we define the A1 homology shifts. as the homology shifts of this um, complex. Uh, sorry, Gabriela, may I ask? So mm -hmm. this abelian Evan localization is just usual Evan localization, but in the context of motives? In the context of the effective uh, derivative category of... Uh, okay. of so it's just group. the universal way to groups. make a pre-shift right? So just the universal way to make a pre-shift A1 invariant, right? Exactly, yeah. Okay. By the way, the shape of the, the, the complex of pavilion groups. I forgot to say in the beginning that uh, everyone, if you have questions, you're welcome to just unmute yourself and ask a question like in a normal talk. Or if you want to discuss with the audience, just write in the chat. Feel free and welcome. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so, so, okay. So we have this, this nice, and there are some computations, which I think also are quite difficult to do about uh, these, these homology shifts. So also I want to introduce um, the um, Suslin homology shifts. And uh, so what we now we do is uh, we take um, the category of correspondences, which is a and enlarge of the category of smooth skins when we enlarge the class of morphisms. And uh, so as we know, the, we, the category of smooth schemes over F and, um, and then we enlarge to the category of correspondence over F. Then, and we know that here the objects are also smooth schemes over F and the morphisms between two smooth schemes is uh, defined as the free abelian group generated by all the finite correspondences. What I mean is all the irreducible closet subschemes of the product X and Y shows that uh, this is finite and subjective. And this is irreducible closet uh, subscheme. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> and if we consider, as usual, the category of pre shifts in the opposite category of correspondences, so we we have the definition of the pre shifts uh, with transfers and F with coefficients in the integers. We can tensor as well, uh, if we take the coefficients over a field, then we have the precious with transfer, transfers with coefficients in, in a field. So now um, uh, we have that the Suslin homology shifts of X are defined as um, the homology shifts of, um, of, so for each smooth scheme, we can, the, this enlarge uh, of the categories consider the adding transfers map. And also this, for sure, this induce if we have the pre shifts on smooth schemes over F. So this extends um, to, to uh, amorphisms between pre shifts and over smooth schemes over FF and pre shifts with transfers. <clears throat> so we can consider as usual a uh, simplicial pre shift and then I'll take the complex generated by these pre shifts with transfers and take the usual Nisnevich localization and A1 localization. Uh, yeah, here I was. Uh, not so precise, but okay, let's uh, yeah, so let's let's take set transfers as the A1 localization, the Nisnevich localization of 
Thanks. Uh, so now um, we know that this uh, ad interest map also is going to induce a map between the A1 homology shifts and the Suslin homology. And also, so we know that um, these are not, in general, it's not an isomorphism. And, uh, and it's not in general an isomorphism because, for example, if we consider the um, A1 homology shifts of GM smash N, this is related to Milner bit K theory. Yeah, this is related to Milner bit K theory. And if we consider the Suslin homology shifts of a GM smash N, so this is going to be related to Milner K theory. So a priori, these two homology shifts are different. And uh, what I'm interested in is to uh, in the category of motivic spaces, consider localizations with respect to these two homology theories. So, uh, yeah, so the existence of the localization is a quite formal uh, statement. Uh, I'm not going to discuss on that, uh, but what I would like to do is to discuss the ideas that uh, work in the proof of work, of course and discuss why this can be extended to the A1 homology and what are the steps that I have for the localization with respect to Suslin homology. So, um, yeah, so let's, um, let's take uh, the structure, the category of coalgebras. Okay. When so did I get Gabriela? So did I get that correctly? That the only difference between Suslin and the one homology is the transverse structure that you encode. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, and, and, and in general, this adding transverse matrix is not going to be an isomorphism. Sure. So, okay. So, uh, and so uh, what I, I want to move now is to study the structure of uh, the category of coalgebras over over a field when fee, uh, when the field K is a perfect field. So, <clears throat> so what, what do we have? Uh, so we have um, the fundamental theorem of coalgebras says that if we have C or a coalgebra over K, and x, an element, and c, <laughs> then there is, um, <laughs> so then uh, there ex exists a finite dimensional uh, subcoalgebra. See, see, it shows that um, um, x is an element in d. In other words, all the every coalgebra is the colimit, the filter colimit of all the final dimensional coalgebras. Every coalgebra is a vector space over the over the field. And also we have um, that um, the category of commutative coalgebras over K. Yeah, I think I forgot to say that it I'm always considering commutative coalgebras is finitely presentable. And uh, the forgetful functor from commutative coalgebra over K to, uh, I'm going to denote mod modules over K, but actually I mean vector spaces, uh, for it has a right adjoint, which is the Coffrey functor. The coffee coalgebra. So, also, uh, 
let's uh, introduce some some uh, basic notation, basic, basic basic definitions, and we will say that um, D is simple, simple subalgebra, uh, or simple coalgebra. Sorry, uh, if uh, it um, does not have trivial, non-trivial subalgebras. Then, in particular, we have that if D is simple, um, then D is the dual of a finite field extension. Uh, also, um, let's uh, introduce um, the etal part of a coalgebra. It's going to be the direct sum um, of all the simple subcoalgebras. <clears throat> so we also have um, that um, the following lemma. And we have that the um, etal part of C is an injective morphism of coalgebra. It induces an injective morphism of coalgebra. Sorry, may I, may I ask a naive question? So what does it have to do with the tone? Um, I mean, I think uh, if you take the the dual, then you the map that uh, yeah, you, if you take the dual, then you take a um, uh, no, I, I don't, I, I think I cannot. I mean, I mean, you, you, what you will have is that if you you have a field extension, field extension, so it should be an ideal map. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And also, it's it doesn't have any. Yeah. No, I think I cannot give you a precise uh, relationship. Sorry. Okay. So people discuss in the chat that dual looks like a product of finite field extensions. So which, means, yeah. which is the same as a tau k algebra. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> sure. And. Um, yeah, okay. So, so then this uh, induces an injective morphism. So, and actually, um, all the sum of all the simple uh, subcoalgebras is a direct sum and it's the tal part of, of the coalgebra. And uh, also, this, this theorem follows, this lemma follows because uh, if we have a morphism between um, two coalgebras and the alpha is simple. Then uh, f the alpha is simple as well. So we actually um, what we, are, what we actually have an end of tor from uh, the category of commutative coalgebras over k, the commutative coalgebras. Okay. Um, yeah. So um, what else we have? Um, <clears throat> so if we have uh, that, um, so let's let's induce some notation before. If you have that R is a domain, commutative ring that is a domain, then uh, the functor from sets to coalgebras over R has a right adjoint given by it, the, what we call the group life functor. And is all the homomorphisms in commutative coalgebras over R from R to C. <clears throat> and uh, so this is the right adjoint all of the diagonal coalgebra. And uh, if we have that, um, that K 
is algebraically closed, then uh, and C a coalgebra over K, then we have that um, the co-unit um, co -unit map of this of uh, of this adjunction. Um, Um, yeah, so the, so we have that this um, co-unit, oh, sorry, um, okay, see, to see, uh, factors through the ethyl part of the co-algebra. So this, this follows by the functoriality, and also it follows because the ethyl part uh, of, um, of a co-algebra, of a diagonal co-algebra, when K is algebraically closed, is isomorphic to actually the coalgebra because all the, I mean, we have always the copies of, of K as a simple, um, simple to coalgebra. So all, all the, another important uh, result in, in this structure is that uh, we have, um, we have that uh, if uh, C is an, irreducible uh, coalgebra, which means that has a unique simple subcoalgebra. Then the inclusion of the ethyl part in C has a retraction, has a unique retraction. And this is quite important for, for our purpose. So this, 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 this result is quite important. This, uh, this, the proof of this theorem is reduced to a problem in commutative algebra. And uh, it is reduced to prove that uh, uh, if um, a, a is uh, a finite dimension local algebra over K, with um, M, the unique, the, ma the maximal ideal. Then there exists um, a unique uh, field contained in A, shows that A is equal to K plus M. And uh, this result of the existence of the of the retraction uh, can be extended uh, in general because also we will have we are going to have that um, a coalgebra um, is a direct sum of all the um, irreducible components. So sorry, these results about finite uh, dimensional local algebras is it uh, is it obvious or no it's not totally obvious no we need to i mean we need to work between with uh, commutative value but, uh, yeah uh okay so let's um hey, gabriella i'm sorry my internet broke for them with yeah okay so Let's let's move. Before before to move, I want to mention something else. And um, so, let's assume that uh, K is not algebraically closed. And uh, so, we have that if K is not algebraically closed, but it's a perfect field. Um, and we take G equal to the Galois group of K bar over K. So we are gonna have a similar adjunction, but instead of, of that, we are gonna take, uh, let's take the category of um, discrete G sets. And uh, the category of commutative coalgebras over K. So we would like to have a similar adjunction but the junction is gonna be a little bit different in this case. So in this case, um, it's enough to, to see what happened over the, over the questions when, uh, um, when the order of the question is finite. 
and we are going to send this to the we, we take the closure of k and then uh, the fixed points and the dual of this uh, object is going to be a coalgebra over k so this functor is defined as a left hand extension of this. And we want to define a right adjoint for this, where this functor has a right adjoint, and we want to define this, this right adjoint. And uh, RC is going to be a discrete G set. So this uh, discrete G set sends um, every quotient to the homomorphisms of coalgebras over um, K to K bar H dual to C. And it turned out that the co unit of this uh, adjunction is actually um, the etal, the inclusion of the etal par on C. Um, yeah. So here I think I, I forgot to say it, that uh, in order to, to make this, this theorem uh, true, we also need K be a perfect field. And it's and actually, um, yeah, also um, in, uh, sorry, um, here, uh, yeah, here we need a K, a perfect field in order to be true. And um, yeah, so now, now what, what I want to do, so, so actually what makes both this theorem, uh, the, the theorem of Gors or the model of Gors is all this structure of uh, co-algebra over, over a perfect field. What we want to, to do is that, uh, so we have, um, yeah, we have the, um, and we have um, the following theorem. So, so I'm gonna state in, in the A1 series. And so we take a K, an algebraic uh, closed field. And uh, we uh, want to prove that uh, there exists. So if we take the A1 localization of motivic spaces with respect to A, um, more A1 homology with provisions in K, to the homotopy category of um, shifts of simplicial commutative coalgebras over K. And we perform an formally an Nisnevis localization and A1 localization. So this font torch, the just the, the diagonal, the diagonal coalgebra. Um, is a fully faithful functor. And uh, furthermore, uh, the, um, um, the derivative unit Just taking the fiber and replacement and then the group like functor. Um, the target of this, this unit is the H A1K localization. So in this case, everything is very naive because everything is section wise. We don't have transfers. So we have a simplicial commutative coalgebras, co which are um, coalgebra section wise in every degree of the simplicial set. And also as a shift, so it's a section wise a, um, category of um, pre shifts of coalgebras. So which, which kind of things do we need here? First, we need to, to put here a, um, a model structure in this category. And uh, we also need to prove, well, we need to prove that this is a Quillen uh, functor and that um, this uh, derivative unit map is actually the, the localization. 
So in order to prove that uh, we can get a model structure is enough to have the model structure in um, simplicial um, commutative coalgebras. Um, may I ask yeah. one more question? So yes. uh, I forgot in the Gauss theorem, uh, was there no restriction on the left hand side, like this new potent spaces kind of condition? There were no conditions? You, you, can, you can do it, yes. Yes, uh, I'm, I mean, here, uh, uh, for, first of all, I'm gonna do just for K and algebraically close, but then if you want to, 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 to for example, do a, ration, a rationalization, then you can impose, uh, uh, yeah, give the new potent condition over the spaces. So, yeah, I mean, in the end, the, the only thing that it's like all, all the course terms leads to the A1 homology because everything is section wise in this category. So everything is easy to, to do. And the only two ingredients, the, the, the few ingredients that we need is first of all, to have a model structure in, in the category of simplicial commutative coalgebras, which is induced by the category in simplicial models over K, by the cofree and the forgetful font. So I choose a injective model structure because here I'm interested to, to, to have a, as a real equivalent the quasi-isomorphisms. And also um, I'm interested in um, to have um, the co-fibrations of the monomorphisms. And uh, the model structure induced in simplicial commutative coalgebra is when the forgetful font of, of a uh, morphisms is a quasi isomorphisms in models, and the forgetful contour, the forgetful applied forgetful contour, it's a, a co vibration in simplicial models. And um, so we also can induce uh, this um, um, model structure in simplicial commutative coalgebras in, in shifts over smooth schemes over F. This was done. To generally by the word of raptives. We need to be careful about uh, some cardinality conditions, but it's really possible to do, to do this part. It's not, it's not a big deal. And uh, so, so then easily we have this, this adjunction and, uh, and, the, and this quillian pair. And uh, one thing that I want to discuss is that I was stating that um, this, uh, map, this uh, derivative unit map is actually the, the localization of, of the space. So, <clears throat> so we have that, um, um, yeah. So what, what we need to do to, to get that is that, uh, so if we want to compute the derivative unit. So we take um, the fiber replacement of this coalgebra. This is actually, in general, a, a difficult uh, problem to handle to get an explicit fiber replacement of a simplicial algebra, at, at least to my, to my knowledge of the, the things that I tried to do. It was not so easy to give a, a, a fiber replacement, but, uh, but theoretically we can do it. Not explicitly not, but theoretically we can do the, this fiber replacement. And then if we take the group like uh, elements of this, so what we want to prove is that um, that actually, if uh, if we have a weird equivalence between two coalgebras, then uh, we would like to to see that uh, applying the group like functor, it's uh, h in this case k. Uh, we're equivalent. <clears throat> and this is equivalent to prove that uh, that this um, that this thing is it's um, a equivalence. But this part, if, uh, sorry, K, let's take K. But this part, um, if since we are considering K algebraically close, is the ethyl part of the co-algebras, which uh, we know that it generates an inclusion uh, in this part. And also we, we state that it was a retraction. 
So it doesn't really matter if we are uh, performing more localizations or we are consider this uh, model structure in, in, in pre-ships. All, all the theorems follows just by this, by, this paper, by this basic result. So what I want to do now is, uh, as I was stating before, I would like to, to get a similar statement for Susan homology. So in that case, um, So in that case, we are considering the category of simplicial precious with transfers with coefficients in K. Um, let's for the moment take uh, an algebraic Kali closed field. And we know that we have here a monoidal structure given by the day convolution product. And uh, so it means that uh, if we take to, uh, let's Very take, yeah. So in your simplicial PST, there's two Ks inside. Should one of them be an F or am I reading this wrong? Ah, uh, yes, sorry, thanks. We are taking the smooth schemes over F. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yes, and with coefficients in K. So if we, well, sorry for this notation, but okay, let's, if we take the tensor product of the, of two pre-shifts with transfers, so this is the co-limit of FB tensor MGW. So uh, what I prove uh, is uh, that um, the category of, so we have a monoidal structure here, and we can take the co-algebra objects on this, under this monoidal structure. So let's uh, denote uh, this category as commutative co-algebras um, with transfers. And uh, what I prove is that this category, it's um, locally presentable. Um, and also, uh, I prove that if we take the forgetful functor to um, perceive with transfers, let's let's forget for the moment the the simplicial part. So it has a it has a right adjoint as a free functor with transfers. And um, so this this. Um, this, this uh, proof is uh, inspired in the presentability uh, of the, commutative, the category of commutative co-algebras over a commutative ring. And um, it's not that, I mean, we are, uh, this was quite classic and quite old. And if we are just careful about uh, some cardinality conditions and be careful to, to really um, construct uh, precious with transfers, um, we, can, we can be able to, to prove that this, that this category is uh, locally presentable. So what is missing for the moment, uh, also I'm, I'm able to, to prove that if we take, um, the product of um, of two pre-shifts with transfers. So the um, the uh, eta stack, the, the, the eta stock of uh, this uh, tensor product of pre-shifts can be it behaves like a um, unusual. Um, and now that happened, what I didn't want to, to do, but okay, I can finish with just talking about it. So uh, it behaves as a usual tensor product. So I have the hope that I can complete uh, this uh, model, this model for, um, for, um, for the localization with respect to Suslin homology with uh, this category of uh, simplicial precious with uh, the uh, co-algebras with transfers. And also, as uh, Maria was pointed out before, that uh, if this statement was not reduced to um, 
to the case of nilpotent spaces, which we can do that. And uh, in order to, to do this more explicitly, um, I was stating before this uh, adjunction between discrete G sets. So the idea in order to get this result in nilpotent spaces is uh, we prove this, that, the, that having the fully faithful functor and having the localization of this uh, um, derived uh, unit map in discrete uh, geospaces. And then the fixed points of this, uh, of this localization, it's going to be the localization if we are including uh, spaces in discrete uh, geospaces with, when we are considering the trivial action. Um, so, I mean, we, we, we need to work a little bit. And also, I have the hope that uh, a similar construction, like uh, this construction with discrete G sets, is going to be useful to really encode the information of the of the transfers uh, map, um, and uh, yeah, for this algebraic model. And I think, um, yeah, that's mainly what what I wanted Can to I, say. May I ask a question uh, sure. about something you said much before? So, is it a formal statement or non-formal about uh, your formula for the? The, can you scroll above? Maybe I'll find it. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So you write somewhere, uh, you use that, yeah, the formula for this guy, the GP of something using a tau um, algebra. Well, uh, I think you, you used it several times. This 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 part, what do you mean? Or, uh, no, I don't know some question, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, this vertical as I'm Yes. I mean, it's, it's very formal. The fact that we have this retraction of the etal part, uh, it's what it allows to, to, to prove that actually the derivative unit is the localization of the, of the space. I mean, we need to, that this group like functor preserves group equivalences and it comes from formally from, from this retraction map in the etal part. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. Okay, thank you. Did you want to say anything else or? Yeah, no, I think that that would be. Gabriella first. And uh, please ask questions. And if there were any questions in the last minute, I'm, I might have had to, like my internet broke for another minute. I'm sorry, I don't know why. <laughs> so if there are questions in the chat that were not answered too, please ask them too, so. Any questions? So, um, Maybe you mentioned this, but could you maybe repeat? So what are you thinking about now? Like, I think you explained the results from your thesis mainly and... Yeah, I mean, what I'm thinking about is to complete this proof for, for getting this localization with respect to social model. And then there I, I have several problems. First, I can try to fix this, that, as I say, that taking the... Um, the etal et et topology instead of Nisnerish topology and see that uh, in um, that uh, in this uh, tensor product with transfers behaves like a usual tensor product and try to use um, uh, the result in stated in course. But also I have some problems with the A1 invariance of uh, due to the presence of transfers, it's not uh, section wise um, or algebra in the simplicial in the simplicial part. So I have a bit of a problem in how to get an explicit uh, co algebra there. I see. Thank you. More questions? Yeah. 
then maybe people will be less shy in the during break in the break room. Let's see. Okay, let's thank Gabriela again. And so we'll have a break and the next talk, the last talk will be by Ben Antia.